An unbeaten century from Michael Klinger gave Gloucestershire the upper hand on day one against Sussex. Sussex hosted Gloucestershire in a mid-table match-up that both sides needed to win to stay in touch with the top half of the table. Gloucestershire won the toss and chose to bat, a decision that looked questionable early on when McGoffin bowled to Vare for two in just the fifth over of the day. Dent looked to steady the ship, but lost partner Van Burham with the score on just 18, caught behind off McGoffin for four. McGoffin then picked up his third wicket of the morning in just his fifth over. Dent caught behind for 11, Gloucestershire in trouble at 19 for three. Marshall joined Klinger at the crease and he was lucky to survive a delivery from Archer when attempting to let one go. Klinger found the middle of the bat, but Marshall couldn't do the same. Caught by Jordan in the slips off the bowling of Archer for six. Mustard and Klinger then went about salvaging the innings, with the pair taking the score from 34 for four at the end of the 18th over to 101 for four at the lunch break. After the interval, Mustard and Klinger took up where they'd left off, with both batsmen continuing to find the boundary and both going past 50 in the process. The stand was worth 133 when Sussex finally made the breakthrough. Mustard bowled by Briggs for 71. Klinger though pressed on and he was well supported by new man Taylor. Klinger and Taylor took the visitors up to tee at 207 for 5, an impressive recovery from the precarious position of 34 for 4 earlier in the day. Both batsmen picked up where they'd left off after tee, both finding the boundary. However, Taylor's innings was to end on 29, caught by Jordan off the bowling of McGoffin. Howell followed him back to the pavilion shortly after, caught behind off V's for a duck. Miles joined Klinger and the pair went about building a big eighth wicket partnership. Klinger passed 100 for the 30th time in his career, an excellent knock from the Australian that held the Gloucestershire innings together. There was still time in the day for Miles to reach 50, with the number nine batsman frustrating the Sussex attack and helping push the total past 300. Gloucestershire then finished the day 332 for seven, a wonderful recovery from 34 for four, thanks mostly to an unbeaten 106 from Klinger, who had good support from Mustard and Miles. Klinger and Miles will resume on day two, looking to push the lead past 400 and set themselves up for a chance at victory.